Good morning, everyone. Happy, thankful Thursday. Um, and for today, we're going to read this amazing book, My Magical Choices. Now, I read the first book in the series, um, My Magical Words, a few one a week ago, um, and this is um, pretty similar in the way it's written, but different in the way in the content and the words that are in the book. Um, so my magical choices is all about the choices that we make, the decisions that we make. And like I've talked about, um, your feelings are yours. You own them. No one can tell you how to feel. Um, sometimes it's just normal to feel a certain way. It's normal to feel angry. It's normal to feel sad. And that's okay. Um, and you don't have to, there's no snapping out of it or a special spell to make you feel better. Um, but choices are the are your decision. You go through your day making even tiny little choices that you're not even aware of. Um, the reason that I wanted to read this book today was because there is a lot in the world that we are not in control of. And there's a lot happening around us that we can't change and that we can't make better. It's just not up to us. It's um, kind of just something we have to wait out and see. So that's why... The things that we can control are really, really important. So I'm going to read this book and then we'll talk about it. So it's My Magical Choices by Becky Cummings. And just like the magic of my magical words, um, there are statements. So please read, repeat them if you would like to. The choices you make have superpowers. They bring sunshine or rainy showers. So here are some magical things to do that bring the sun to shine right through. Listen closely to this life advice. Say, I choose and end with something nice. Take some action. Choose what you do. Repeat this often because magic lives within you. I choose to be responsible. Bathing, brushing, getting dressed, now you look and feel your best. You clean up all the mess you make. Helping out gives mom or dad a break. I choose to be helpful. Put toys away and feed the cat. You might just like a job like that. Just raise your hand or jump right in. When helping others, we all win. I choose to be patient. Take your time and wait your turn. Those are tricky things to learn. When life is slow, you've got to wait. Stay calm and know it turns out great. I choose to be confident. You know you can. You believe in you. All by yourself, you try something new. You don't give up when things get rough. You know you're made to be super tough. I choose to be generous. Giving gifts for no reason at all. A cupcake, a flower, maybe a ball. Donating books, clothes, or a toy fills your heart with bursts of joy. Now on this page, guess what this boy is planning to do? Did you guess that he's going to give the girl the cupcake? You would be right. I choose to be calm. When you're upset, count to ten. Or take a break, then try again. If you still, if still you feel you're sad and blue, take a calming breath or two. <sighs> I do feel better. I choose to be brave. You speak what's important, kind and true. Your heart leads the way and knows what to do. You try new things with a good attitude. You do it politely without being rude.
I choose to be forgiving. If something makes you feel so sad, use words to explain the hurt you had. Then it's okay to let those feelings go, heal your heart, and let your smile show. Can you guess what the, pro what the choice this dog made? If you guessed that he took the girl's bear, you would be right. I choose to be a good sport. Play a game and try to have fun. Say good job when it's all done. At times you win, at times you lose. Your attitude is what you choose. I choose to be gentle. Use your hands with grace and care. Be kind to pets when stroking their hair. With little friends, you're careful too. Nobody wants to get a boo-boo. I choose to be friendly. You say hello to, peop to new people you meet. You give high fives or handshakes to greet. You use kind words with sisters and brothers. You show respect to fathers and mothers. I choose to be honest. Mistakes are part of every day. They help you learn a better way. Just say you're sorry. Make it right. The truth will make your heart feel light. And this is really important because are we perfect all the time and make no mistakes? No, we're not. We are not robots. So um, if you do make a mistake, it's really important to own up to it. Say sorry. And that really heavy part on your heart that is making you feel bad will slowly lift off and kind of be able to roll off your shoulders. It just takes sometimes a simple apology um, to do the trick. But it's not sometimes easy to do, but it is a very, very important thing to do. I choose to be fun. You play, you dance, you joke, you sing. You enjoy what each moment may bring. You do not need to follow the crowd. Be silly, be you, and laugh out loud. You are the captain of your own ship. You steer the wheel on this magic trip. So wisely choose the things you do, and always remember, magic starts in you. The end. Um, so I love that book. Those little things that you choose to do throughout the day, I want you to be really aware of them and think about how many times a day you make a choice. Um, and if you can make a choice that is better and stop yourself from making a bad choice, then the more your brain will become used to making those good choices instead of making bad choices. So I hope you like this book and I'm missing all of you so much. I um, hope you know how really, really sad and disappointed um, I am from the news that we won't be together for the rest of the school year. It was really hard for me to hear and um, I was really, my, my heart was broken um, and it really still is. And it will take some time, I know for me, to get used to this um, new way of teaching and counseling, um, but I want you to know that I really am here for you, and even as hard as it is for everyone, and we're all going through it, that means that we're all there for each other, um, and I really care about all of you, and I just want you to know that I'm here, so reach out, email me, call me, um, and I can't wait to see you have a great day and I will see you tomorrow.